Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be finding for the region bounded by y is equal to x and y is equal to square root of x when it is rotated about x is equal to 2. So first I'm going to graph what this problem looks like. y is equal to x is just, just looks like this and y is equal to square root of x looks like this and the point where they intersect is at x is equal to 1 and that is also at y is equal to 1 oh i can just write one and we're going to rotate this region around the line x is equal to 2. And that means that, and so I'm going to just write everything, draw everything that I drew here. So like, like, so that it looks like it's mirrored. So here it is. And if we rotate this to find for the volume, we're going to use washers to do this, which means that we're going to subtract the larger disk with the smaller disk. The larger disk here is, would be here. Well, it doesn't have to be here. It can be a, yeah. And the radius would, and we're going to use this radius. And the smaller disk would be this one. They both will have a width or depth um, of dy. Okay, I hear this really horribly, but I hope you get the basic idea. So, so now we have to find for the radius of each of these because the volume will be pi times the integral from 0 to 1 we're, we're we're going to be doing it in terms of dy uh, in terms of y so the interval will be from 0 to 1 of the larger radius squared subtracted by the smaller radius squared and this radius is the larger radius capital R which will be equal to 2 minus x. And in this case, the x is equal to, and we're using this, the x in this equation, because the one that it touches is the graph y is equal to square root of x. And since we want it in terms of y, we're going to solve for x in this equation, and that will give us 2 minus x is equal to y squared. And for this, for the radius in the smaller disk, r will be equal to also 2 minus x, except in this case, x is equal to y, because the disk touches the line y is equal to x, so we can just replace x with y. Okay, now let's just substitute everything in for capital R and lowercase r pi times the integral from 0 to 1 of r capital R squared and capital R is 2 minus y squared minus lowercase r which is equal to 2 minus y 2 minus y squared and dy now we're going to just simplify what's inside the integral and then take the integral this is basically just equal to the 2 minus y squared squared is equal to 4 minus 4 times y squared plus y to the power of 4. We just expanded it and subtracted by y minus a 2 minus y squared, which if we expand it is equal to 4 minus 4 times y plus y to the power of 4. We can simplify this and these two will cancel out. And, oh wait, no, I'm sorry. This is supposed to be y, 
y to the power of 2. And so nothing else will really cancel out except we can simplify just one thing. If we simplify this, we can get 4 times y from this. We have negative negative, that makes positive. And negative 4 times y squared minus y to the power of 2, so that makes negative y, 5 times y to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 4 dy. And now we're just going to simpli uh, simply take the integral of this, and that would be our answer for the volume. If we let's take the integral of this, and, we'll be, and we would get 2 times y to the power of 2 minus 5 divided by 3 times y to the power of 3 plus 1 divided by 5 times y to the power of 5 from 0 to 1. And now we can just substitute these. In. Let's substitute the 1 first into all of this. And we'll have 2 minus 5 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 5 minus, if we put 0 inside here, we'll just get all zeros. So we don't have to worry about that. And let's simplify this a little bit. So this is equal to 30 divided by 15 minus 25 divided by 15 plus 3 divided by 15. And if we simplify this, we'll get 8 divided by 15. So that means that this would be our final answer for the volume. So that will be it for this video, and in this video, I just uh, explained how to find for the volume of the region bounded by y is equal to x y, and y is equal to square root of x when the region is uh, rotated about the line y is equal to 2. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye.